Welcome to another episode of The Marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Please lace up and subscribe today. And in today's marathon, clearly I've been crying. Um, it's like five o'clock and I haven't vlogged at all today. So I thought I would just talk to you, cry face and all. Oh, hello. Thomas is here to hang out, how cute is that? Um, my birthday was really hard, like really hard. Um, and everyone who's asked me how it was, um, and I've told them that it was really hard, they're all like, yeah, of course it was. Like, what did you expect? Like, not in a mean way, but just like, of course you're upset. And I don't know. I think I just wanted something nice and I'd hoped mm. that I'd be able to like be happy and set aside my grief for an afternoon to enjoy it and I did enjoy it but it was really hard um, and I thought I would just talk about it because I know there's other people who have lost their spouses or their kids, mm. or even if you're like divorced, I don't know. You know, just like waking up in the morning and realizing like it's just another day and I don't know, like mm. no one to take like a gift from Thomas or It was just really upsetting yeah. and I, I wish I could eloquently explain why. When we did our marriage counseling in the spring, one of the things that we got asked to ask each other was like, what's your favorite holiday? And Jeremy said, you marry your favorite holiday is your birthday. And I just have always really liked my birthday. Um, it's just interesting. It was really hard. And I have really good friends. I had like hundreds of messages from you guys, which was amazing. Um, sorry, Thomas is really, <laughs> whatever. Um, and like my girlfriend's planned the nice wine tour, which you saw, and we got vegan pizza, and we went to a wine bar after, and it was like a really lovely thing. And they just said to me like, we wish we could do something to make you happy and I was trying so hard but there's just this like edge that's all I can explain it as is like there's just this little not little there's just this something that makes it so I can't fully be you know happy or excited or just like in the moment Tony Robbins was the same even saying this, like, it sounds so stupid, because, like, of course, of course it is. It's been less than two months. Of course you are. Um, I think I had just naively been holding out hope that there would be, like, a little reprieve or a little break. And there wasn't. So rather than trying to pretend today that everything's fine... I know so many of you have messaged me saying how much you appreciate my honesty and if this is what you want to see and um, I appreciate your support and feedback and you telling me that it's helping you and it is helping me too. I think maybe on my 35th birthday next year I'll watch this video and be like wow you've come far. At least that's what I hope. I asked my therapist a week ago what I'm not doing. She's like, you're doing everything. It just takes a while. And I know that sounds so stupid. And some of you are probably like, <laughs> he died in June, it's July, calm down. But that's how I'm feeling today. 
So yesterday was hard. Um, and I really appreciate my friends who came out with me. We had, you know, as much fun as possible. And um, the woman who babysat for me, which was amazing. And then this morning I woke up still feeling just something like sad tired, unmotivated, like, so I managed to get some stuff done today and I had a friend who came and we went out for lunch, which was really nice, and we took Thomas on a bunch of errands, which was really nice, and, um, like, got my car washed and did actual groceries, like, I actually made a meal plan and I actually went to IGA and bought, like, a regular grocery shop because my niece comes tomorrow, so I wanted to make sure I had food for her. <laughs> So that all felt really good, but then I just ugly cried. <laughs> so my marathon is honest and vulnerable and raw and I hope it's helping you because you all are helping me. So that's going to be it for today. Um, tomorrow I am getting a tattoo, so it's going to be a much more fun, uplifting vlog. My niece arrives. She's going to come film it. Um, so thank you for being okay when some vlogs are like this and some are not. Um, also I've realized that I've been like to Ikea and then not hauled it and like making furniture and then not showing you. <laughs> I will show you. I'm really still getting my bearings. So that's it for today. I'm gonna wash my face and make a nice dinner. And tomorrow's marathon will be hopefully a little gentler and I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. It really does mean the world to me. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>